There's four ways for you to try to play the egg lay. They'll increase in difficulty with each shot. Obviously the simpler one will ensure that you get out every time, but you won't have as much control over the ball. The more difficult one, it's a little, you need to practice it more, but if you can play it successfully, you'll gain a little more control over the ball, increasing your chance of actually making your par save. So the first one is the standard one, where we're going to close the club face. That's ensuring that we're going to hit the ground, hit the sand with the leading edge of the club, the sharp edge of the club, helping you dig into the sand underneath the ball. Somebody described it to me once as an ice cream scoop. You're trying to get in under the ball and, and lift the ball out of the sand. So we're going to close the club face. So we'll close the club face, then take our grip. I want you to put the ball more to the right on your stance than normal. That's going to help you create more of a descending strike, again, getting under the ball. You're going to place a lot more weight on your left foot with your spine tilted towards the target. And then basically from here in the swing, I want you to increase your wrist cocking so the club will be picked up a lot more steeply. So from here you can drive down into the sand, ensuring that you're getting underneath the ball. It goes like this. You'll see there's very little follow through because all the momentum of my swing is going into the sand and not forward. It's a very small but deep divot. Now the second way to play this is we're trying to gain a little bit more control in that shot. That's actually that ball's finished off the green. We're going to increase the loft of the club. Having more loft is really the only way to get a little more height and have the ball land softer. But understand that the sharpest point of this club is yes the leading edge but actually in the heel. So when I open the club face I'm increasing the bounce of the club which is making it more difficult to get the ball, the sand, sorry, get the club underneath the ball and into the sand. So what I'm going to try to do with this shot is I'm actually going to try to use the heel. I'm going to address the ball from the heel and try to use the heel to help me cut into the sand. The rest of the technique remains the same. Weight left, spine left, ball position to the right and again I'm going to swing up and down cutting into the sand with the heel of the club and hopefully with that little bit of extra loft the ball will come out slightly higher and softer. That one's just going to stay on the green this time. Okay, this third one, I say the level of if difficulty is increasing, increasing. This is very good when you've got very hard sand. Um, the harder the sand, the more downward force you'll need, the more vertical angle of attack, V-shape angle of attack. This time we're going to do it the same. We're going to try to use the heel of the club, same address position. But the closer I can keep the club head to the vertical line of the ball, the easier it is for me to strike down, helping me if the sand is very hard and compact. So this time I'm going to ensure that I don't have a wide arc. The wider my arc, the more difficult it is to hit down. Hopefully you can see that. So this time I'm going to break my wrist, cock my wrist very quickly, but I'm also going to let my left elbow soften and almost bend slightly in the swing. That helps me keep the club head close to the vertical line of the ball, ensuring I can hit down in the ball a lot. easily get underneath the ball, especially if the sand is uh, very hard and compact, as I say. Last one, and this is probably the most difficult one, you'll see the pros doing this a little bit, even if they're not aware of it. We're going to play everything the same, but this time, at impact and through the follow-through, what you're going to see is that rather than the club continuing towards the target a little bit, I'm going to try to retract the club and pull the club into my body. So the club, the club head will go under the ball, and I'll be pulling the club in, head into my body, helping to apply the loft of the club to the ball. You'll see a very narrow follow through. The club's almost coming back towards me. I actually got that to finish between the bunker and the edge of the green. It finished quite short. That's the most difficult one. It'll take some practice. If you're not confident, you haven't done any practice, use the first one every time. Just ensure you get out. The other ones are really only if you've been practicing in the bunker, but they do give you some control and they'll give you a chance of making your par safe.